Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to remake some popular TikTok air fryer recipes. So my name is Kristen Hills from Six Sister Stuff. And I am Kathy from Fabulously Frugal. Now I've known Kathy for many, many years and you guys, I haven't done a collaboration since before COVID, so I'm so excited to be real life with someone and doing a collaboration. So on my channel, I'm gonna be making three air fryer recipes, TikTok popular ones, and then you can hop over to Kathy's. We're testing out three more dinner ideas from TikTok. Is it gonna work out? We're gonna see. Yeah. So we're gonna make them, we're gonna test them. So I have three on mine, three on hers. Make sure after you watch my video, go watch her video. And yeah, let's just get into the recipes. So the first recipe that we're gonna attempt to make are chicken and cheese taquitos. Now, I saw these on TikTok. I was super excited. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's see how they go. For this recipe, I have two and a half cups of shredded chicken, and yes, I did use, use rotisserie chicken because it makes my life just a little bit easier. Next, two tablespoons of cream cheese because we want this a little creamy. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then a fourth cup of Mexican cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I love cheese in this. And I forgot one of the most important parts, you need the seasoning. So instead of telling you what each individual one is, I'm gonna put it down below in the description so you can find it there. And then go ahead and mix it all together. Now, the trick with using the corn tortillas is we're gonna put it in some paper towels and microwave it for about a minute. That will soften them up so you'll be able to roll them and they won't break. Okay. Now that they're nice and hot, they will roll so much easier. So we're just gonna add a little bit of the chicken mixture in the middle here. Roll it up. And then we're gonna go right into the air fryer. All right, we're all ready to go. We're gonna put it into the air fryer at 390 degrees for nine minutes. Okay, so they have like two minutes left. Now, as I was cooking them, Kathy's like, hmm, maybe you should have done some oil. So Kathy's gonna teach you okay. oil from her awesome thing. This is what I love. Instead of using a can of pan, this is way healthier and better for your air fryer too. So I use this can of Misto, and you just pump it up here to build pressure in it. And then we'll just give it a little squirt. And it's nice, clean oil, whatever you want inside. No chemicals or propellants. It's the way to go. Okay, so let's close this up. Let's cook it for another, what, two minutes or so? Oh, it says it has four. We'll check it too, because it's starting to get done. All right, we are all done. Oh yeah, those look awesome. Okay, so now is time for the fun part. We're gonna do a little bit of sour cream across them. I love sour cream. All right, this is my favorite kind of cheese to put on top. It's the Mexican style grated cheese. Then I just like to add a little bit of cilantro on top. Then if you wanna serve it with some limes, that's what we're talking about. All right, I think I'm most excited for this one. They're just pretty. <laughs> They're so fun, huh? They're so cute. I'm excited, love sour cream. Mm. Mm. What do you think? Pretty good, pretty good. I know I shouldn't give five out of five for everything, but there's a reason they're viral on TikTok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> so, so good. The next recipe is Parmesan crusted air fryer chicken breasts. I'm a fan. I Sometimes I struggle with chicken, but it says crusted. It's right, mm. so it has to work. It yeah. has to. So let's give it a try. Now, if you have thick chicken breasts, you're gonna want to slice them in half, or you can do what I've done, and I've already bought them really thin sliced. Now, I have two chicken breasts that are very thinly sliced, and I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper, and then some onion powder. And you wanna do this to both sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some stuff that we're gonna dip the chicken in. This is what makes it good. Go ahead and add one half cup of mayonnaise. And you know me, I eyeball all the time. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> now because it's Parmesan chicken, we need some Parmesan. So we're gonna add about two tablespoons. And again, I like to eyeball. So one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Then it's just one teaspoon of all the rest. So we have some crushed red peppers. I am actually just gonna add 
half a teaspoon because that is a lot and a little spicy. Then we have a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of yellow mustard, good enough. <laughs> And then a teaspoon of some lemon juice. You can use fresh lemons, but we're going easy here. So whatever makes it easiest for you. And then you can just add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then go ahead and mix this all together. So I'm making two chicken breasts. This sauce will work for either two or three. So just keep that in mind. If you need to make more chicken breasts, you might have to double the sauce recipe. The sauce is all done. We're ready to go. Now the original recipe calls for all kinds of things. Like you can use Doritos, you can use Funyuns, but I love Parmesan Cheez-Its. If you saw my last week's video, the pantry organization, you will see my giant box of Parmesan Cheez-Its. They're just my favorite. So I'm crushing up those today and we'll put those in with the chicken. Take your chicken, you're gonna just put the sauce all over it. Coat the whole thing. This is what makes this so good. And I have my crushed up Cheez-Its. It's just gonna go right on. You want to cover both sides. I've never been so excited for a recipe. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna put them in. Okay, then we're gonna cook these at 390 for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna check on them in 10 minutes. And while you wait, just get a snack. It's been going for about 10 minutes. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, it looks good. We just need to flip it and then we'll finish cooking. Let's, let's try it for about five more minutes and we'll check the temperature, see where it's at. It's all done, let's, let's check the inside of it. Oh nice, okay, so it should be 165 to be safe. Oh yeah, 170s, there we go. Okay, chicken is done. Holy cow, that looks amazing. All right guys, time for the taste test. Mmm. You know, I didn't know if Cheez-Its could get any better, but put them with chicken. That's amazing. If you don't like the kick, take out the chili flakes. Other than that, I'm gonna rank it a five. It was delicious. Best chicken I've ever had in the air fryer. And the last recipe I'm making today has millions of views, so I'm excited to try it. <laughs> it's loaded french fries. Now this is not a main dish, it's a side dish, but I have a feeling my kids are gonna love this Oh, one. my boys would eat oh. this for dinner. <laughs> main dish all the way. All right, let's, let's give it a try. All right, the first thing you need with french fries is obviously french fries, and yes, these are frozen, but it makes it really easy. So go ahead and put foil into the bottom of your air fryer, and then go ahead and dump your french fries on top. Now you don't wanna layer them up too much because they won't cook as well. So one to two, I feel like that's that's a good enough layer. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, go ahead and slide it in. You're going to set your timer at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. All right, french fries are done. Oh, they look good. I didn't even flip them halfway. They really just cook themselves. Nice and brown and crispy. Now this is our good to be good. We're gonna add cheese and bacon and other good stuff. Now, if you know me, I usually do the shredded cheese, but we're going to shred it ourselves because we just want nice, cheesy french fries. So the TikTok video that I got this from, he said that there are no measurements, so you just put as much cheese on as you want. Okay, I feel like that's enough cheese. Now we're gonna add a ton of chives because I love chives. You can use green onions too if you don't like chives and then bacon, and I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna use real bacon pieces because sometimes you just need an easy side dish, and this is definitely easy. Okay, we're gonna put this in for three minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, I actually checked it at one minute because I was nervous to go all three, and the cheese is definitely melted. That's all you need to do it for, one extra minute. You guys, this smells delicious. My favorite part of this is that because you put the foil down, there is no cleanup. All right, guys, taste test of the cheesy fries. Oh, yeah. Want to get one? Yes, here we go. Make sure you get all the bacon and the mm -hmm. cheese. Mm. I'm a fan. I love french fries. Now we just need some, like, Chick-fil-A sauce or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the restaurant quality. I agree. All right, what's your rating? Five. It's a crowd pleaser. Me too. Five out of five. Mm -hmm. Calories don't count when you eat this. No, no. <laughs> All right, you guys, 
Now don't forget to go check out Kathy on her channel. You can find it right there, her air fryer recipes. And if you want more air fryer recipes, you can find some right over there. All right guys, I'll see you next time, bye.